Today we are making these cute little Christmas lanterns. They are the perfect size for tea lights. I made four different designs just for you to decorate with this Christmas. Hi there, welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. My name is Chris and we are on day four of our Christmas craft kickoff event. That means you can grab all four of these SVGs for free for the next 24 hours. Just head to dailydoseofdiy.com forward slash Christmas 22. Fill in your first name and email, click get SVG and we'll send it to you right away. You'll also have the option of upgrading to the Instant Access Pass where you can get all 14 projects with over 30 SVGs and printable instructions. So be sure to check out that deal. Let's head over and take a look at all the supplies we're going to need to make these adorable lanterns. Okay, to make these cute little tea light lanterns, you're going to need some volume paper, which is like a translucent cardstock. Tissue paper will also work if you prefer to use that some quick dry glue and cardstock, at least 65 pound, 65 pound cardstock. I'm going to cut all of mine in this lovely shade of dark blue, which I think will complement the Christmas colors, but you can choose any color you want. And then you're going to need some little tea lights. I found these cute little things on Amazon. I'll be sure to direct link you all of these things in the description down below as well. You, of course, you'll need your Cricut mat. I've got my green mat here. If you have a newer green mat, you probably don't want to use that for cardstock. Use a light blue mat and then our Cricut tools. Okay, let's go to Design Space now and we'll take a look at these SVGs. I'm going to hit the upload button over on the left. I already have these in Design Space. I'm just going to select each one and you see the green outline going around it and click Add to Canvas. If you need help downloading and uploading SVGs and getting to this point, I'll link a tutorial for you in the description down below, or you can reach out to me and we'll help you get here. Once you, they are in design space, there's nothing you have to do. You can go straight to the make it button. I have perforations already on here, so you don't need to change any lines to score or add your own perforations. It doesn't matter if you have an explorer or a maker or whatever, this, this will work for you. If you want to change the colors, you can click ungroup on the top menu and then select the one you want to change a color, come up here to the top color and choose a different color. Other than that, they are ready to go. So we're going to click the make it button and then on the next screen, it will sort our mats. Now, if you're using eight and a half by 11, you can go through and change the material size on each one of these. I'm just going to note that I believe, yes, that will do eight and a half by 11. Um, I'm just going to note that we need to load our eight and a half by 11 horizontally on each mat and not waste my time changing the material size. So I'm going to click continue. If you have an explorer, set your dial to cardstock. If you have one of the maker machines, you can browse all materials, search cardstock, and choose it from your list. I have mine favorited, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we will head over to get our mat loaded. So the first one that is cutting is the volume paper. And as I noted, we need to put the paper horizontally on the mat. So that is ready to go. I know I have it set to cardstock, but I think it will... It will definitely cut through this fine. It's a little bit thinner than cardstock, but that will be okay. Once the light starts flashing, I'm going to hit the go button. And then um, once all of these are cut, we'll come back and put them all together. Did you catch that? I had something behind my Cricut. I don't recommend doing that. Make sure you have clearance in the back of your Cricut before you hit the go button. When you're removing cardstock from your mat, you want to flip your mat over and actually remove your mat from the cardstock. That helps keep it from tearing and curling. I had a little, I can tear the scraps. I had a little spot right here that bunched up and didn't look like it cut all the way through. If you have that um, with any of your cuts, it's a good idea to have a craft knife handy. 
then I still need to pop out my snowflakes. Some might already pop out. My maker doesn't cut with um, as high pressure as I think it should. I probably should have clicked more pressure on this cut. So you may have, if your Cricut's the same, you may have to remove some of the inside bits. And once you do, he is free. Save like your snowflakes and the trees and stuff and you can use these on cards and different crafts too. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our little lantern box and I'm going to start with just folding on the each perforation, fold them all in the same direction. Then I'm going to take my glue and glue on the volume sheets. I'm going to use my fine tip glue for that. My tacky glue's running a little low, so I think this will make it go faster. If you decide to use tissue paper, I recommend just cutting that by hand. You can cut it if you have a maker and a rotary tool, um, but getting it off the mat without tearing is not always the funnest job in the world. Once that is done, we're ready to glue it together. And for this, I do recommend a tacky glue. It will go a lot faster. So I'm just going to glue it down one of these tabs it's on the outer edge. And then you fold it up and line it up with the next square and hold in place a few seconds while the glue takes hold. And then we're going to repeat the process for each of the tabs. Once you get to the top, you do not want to glue these tabs down so that you can get your tea light in and out. So I'm going to have my tea light. I'm going to turn him on and then you just set him down in there and close the lid. And that's all there is to it. And here are our cute little lanterns all finished. These will look great on tabletops and tables on your mantles and among all your other Christmas decorations. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, day five. We're going to do layered snowflakes, so make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you next time. God bless.